Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Golden Moments. I'm Bruce Howard. This month marks the 80th anniversary of Tulsa's first ever bowl game. It was January 1942 when the Golden Hurricane took on Texas Tech in the Sun Bowl. It was the start of five bowl games in five years, very rare in the 1940s. Let's take a look back as TU football made history. TU football's ascension to being the first team ever to go to five straight New Year's Day bowl games actually began in 1930 with the construction of Skelly Stadium. At the time, it was one of the best facilities in the area and helped spur the Golden Hurricane to a decade of excellence in the 30s. In those days, in the 30s, uh, TU was the best school, football school in the state. Uh, A&M had a lot of coaches and turnover and they couldn't develop a program and OU didn't have a, a solid coaching program either. But in the early 30s there was essentially only one bowl, the Rose Bowl up until 1935 when the Sugar Bowl, the Sun Bowl and the Orange Bowl were created. The Cotton Bowl became a reality in 1937. In 1941 the Golden Hurricane football team won seven of their first eight games and had a solid squad with a new head coach. New coach Henry Frank um loved to run the ball, ball. He liked to pound the ball and control the game that way. And um, so T won with a good running game, timely passing, and a really good defense. The defense didn't give up more than two touchdowns in any game all year. But on Thanksgiving Day, the Arkansas Razorbacks came into Skelly Stadium and upended the Hurricane in the final game of the regular season, and hopes for a bowl game seemed dashed. But then almost out of the blue, the Sun Bowl extended an invitation to the Hurricane to take on Texas Tech, and on December 4th, 1941, TU accepted. There was a lot of excitement surrounding Tulsa's first ever bowl bid going to play when they received and accepted the invitation to play in the Sun Bowl on New Year's Day. Three days later, everything was upended as Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and the United States was drawn into World War II. For many, like star Glenn Dobbs, it was hard to believe the U.S. was now at war. I don't know, I guess we just kind of halfway thought that it wasn't really true. But then as we talked and found out about it all day, it got real serious and the entire football team went down and enlisted Monday morning, December the 8th. The entire football team went down and uh, got into various branches of the service. By and large, all of us were kept in school because we had enlisted in various branches of the service that didn't need us right then and there. But now with a nation at war, there was a question of even being able to get to El Paso. War related efforts had priority on train travel. So that made getting to El Paso by train a challenge for TU, but TU eventually got there. The trip down there was uneventful. It was slow, but we finally got there and we didn't have hotel reservations or anything else, but he scrounged around and we made it. It, it took Tulsa a long time to get to El Paso relatively. It wasn't just you left Tulsa and it was straight through to El Paso. It was, it took from what I understand through the years and hearing stories uh, two or three times longer than it normally would have taken to get to El Paso. So Tulsa does get there and waiting were a rugged band of Texas Tech Aggies, but TU had that stingy defense and an offense led by Glenn Dobbs. Dobbs was an all-around player. He could pass, he could kick. He was a very good punter, uh, not a bad runner. And uh, of course his fort was uh, passing and he had a great end in Sachs Judd. And as you know, with most teams, uh, it's not just a good passer, it's a good receiver. And uh, Glenn Dobbs and Sachs Judd were just about a perfect combination. So finally, January 1st, 1942 arrives, and it's TU against Texas Tech in the Sun Bowl, and the game ended up being a defensive tug of war. Tulsa and Texas Tech looked like they were headed for a scoreless tie. We moved the football, but they were tough on defense. They were really good and ranked highly in the nation against uh, the Southwest Conference people. Tulsa was dominating the game but they just couldn't get the points on the board, committed a couple of turnovers, and then late in the fourth quarter, Glenn Dobbs found Sachs Judd. Sachs Judd caught that ball and made a touchdown with it, and we won six to nothing. So the Golden Hurricane made history, not only by getting to their first ever bowl game, but winning it. 
winning the Sun Bowl was a big deal, winning a New Year's Day game, because there weren't many bowl games back in 1941, 42, and especially winning on New Year's Day. That was a huge deal for Tulsa. 80 years ago, in the backdrop of a global war, University of Tulsa football began their football bowl legacy, which lives on today. Truly a golden moment.